Thank you, Six. That was perfect timing. Well, now we know what's behind the door. Um, Six, he may also know what's behind the screen. Is now the time to run? What's up, guys? Welcome back to Little Nightmares 2. Uh, that game where it's always heavily raining out, but I'm not at all upset about who gets to wear the one raincoat versus who gets to wear the moist paper bag. Six, I know this doesn't really apply to you, but I I'm like minutes away from having my head turn into a giant spitball, which doesn't sound all that fun. So maybe we can find another building full of terrifying adults to dry off in? Like, honestly, I would rather cook another doctor than have a soggy scalp. I feel like it's not asking too much to just want to... No, what the hell those were. Really happy we're holding hands right now. Let's go over this way and investigate that. It looked like somebody was hucking bodies out of those buildings. Really happy we're not going over that way. <laughs> All right then, I guess the bodies are also falling over here. Yep, that's definitely a person, but it yelled on the way down. So are they being thrown out or are they jumping out? You know what, I, I, I think we're gonna stop holding hands now. It's every man, woman, and child for themselves. And, and for us, we cover all three. Hold up a second. Do you hear what sounds like either an ice cream truck or Saturday morning cartoons? I kind of hope it's an ice cream truck because TV isn't exactly the nicest in this neighborhood. Mr. Rogers isn't living around here, I'll put it that way. Well, I guess we might as well go investigate that because why the hell not? Come along, Six. It's interesting that we've only ever seen static on the TVs up until now. But maybe we are getting closer to the source of the signal? Like, clearly, I'm hearing some kind of broadcast right now. That dude is clearly having a rough day. I can think of somebody having worse. Don't move! Wait, don't move actually worked? I'm not gonna lie, I saw that in Jurassic Park and thought to myself, do you know what else doesn't move? Food. Well, he was in a rush to go somewhere, and this is definitely a building code violation. <gasps> I guess we should investigate? Just keep an eye on the floors. He was a bit of a thick boy, so it makes sense that he'd fall through, but for us, you never know. Oh, I never even realized the broadcast stopped. We can't hear anything anymore. So he must have heard it and been drawn to it? Did he want to stop it, or did he feel inclined to kill himself? You think he's dead? <laughs> Don't kick him, sis! <laughs> this is why I'm constantly blinding you. <laughs> that looks an awful lot like a photo of the teacher over there. And of course, Six doesn't care in the slightest. Okay, hold on, I'm coming. Where are we going now, oh glorious leader? You wanna go up to the roof? That dude just fell through the roof, and we've got either bodies or people falling off the roofs into the street. So maybe we should not? Oh, we can't. Okay, good. So we'll just go over here. That sounds like a much better idea. Yeah, Mono, lead the way. This is definitely smarter. Please tell me this is smarter. Uh, you hear something? It sounds like uh, clicking. Okay, let's try the don't move thing again. It, it worked last time. Scratch that. I, I, I get the feeling we could tap dance on this guy's coattails and he would never even realize we're here. <laughs> he seems really invested in the TV that's on the other side of that door. Weird. Okay, well, we, uh, we also have a photo of the kids from the school. Interesting, you remember him? He's the one whose skull you crushed with your bare hands. And we've got a lady watching TV. Okay, I really don't want to screw with them. To be perfectly honest, I, I think I'm just gonna let them enjoy their shows. <laughs> Try not to rustle any pots or pans. Can you maybe come over here and help me with this? I promise not to blind you. Much. <laughs> here we go. And we're moving on. Or not. 
Someone watching in the tub? Do I need to push the TV in and finish him off, or... Or, no, we could probably just leave. Okay, I'm, I'm gonna leave. I, I don't want to mess with them. They're, they're kind of terrifying. I feel like this is probably the best bet. <laughs> Avoid adults at every opportunity. Oh, okay, we we're just gonna... Spider-Man down off the elevator. Sure, I'm just not gonna break my legs off this at all. There we go, okay, yep, you lead the way. Why not? Okay. I'll get it, don't worry. Elevator's still functioning, great idea, Six. Up we go toward the roof. What did I say? Oh, it's locked. Uh, what? Must have missed something? Like, we can, oh, hold on, I see. If I do something like that, okay, pro gamer move, see you later, Six. <laughs> you hang out in the elevator, I'm just gonna go investigate over here. Is this a good idea? Because if I get in trouble, I'm not going to get any help. In all reality, what help does she provide anyway? <laughs> She's good for boost up and for activating the elevator. Did she just turn it back on? Oh, okay, yeah, here we go. I'm on the other side. And I don't have a key, so what was the point? I'm not reaching that with my white boy hops. Okay, maybe there's a key in this desk. If I was a key, this is the kind of place that... I would be hidden. Yeah, there you go. It's just that easy. <laughs> Anything else in here for us, I wonder? I might not want to check, to be honest. Actually, I think these are the only ones that I can open. Because I was going to say, something could pop out. Maybe a puppet child or a mannequin patient or whatever there would be in an apartment building. I don't know anymore. <laughs> there we go. We're good. We're moving on. Where are we moving on to? That was a dead end and... What, you don't want to come down here? Okay, do you have any bright ideas? What do you want to do, Six? Usually you're the leader. You want to hang out by the elevator. Why? Are we, oh, hold up a second. What if I do something like this? Come over here. You, you activate this. Yeah, uh-huh. If I can do something like that, then that doesn't do anything. Okay, what if I activate this? and then run out. I would assume that that's gonna reset and I could pull the elevator up, getting on top of it. Interesting, okay, boost me up. I, I got it figured out, we're, we're working on it. It's a process. It's not every day that you have a decrepit elevator. Now we gotta time this jump just right, otherwise we're gonna get smushed. Or you can time it, that works. Okay, well, we've gotten ourselves into the attic. And the attic has a tiny little place for us to go through. Wonderful. This looks more so like a secret, though. Like, every time we find one of these little vents behind a box, it leads us to... Whatever this is. Still haven't figured it out. Weird little shadow child. Doesn't have a shadow of its own. Okay. You're now inside of me. And, uh... He had some real weird Christmas decorations. Six, we're on the top floor, and judging by the rain, this is gonna lead outside. What did I say about not wanting to go out on the roof? <laughs> there could be nothing good waiting for us out here. This could be covered in... people? Or, ooh, that makes me feel funny. What are you willing to bet the giant tower in the distance with the ominous light on top is the source of the signal? Very Sauron-esque. You know what, Six? I can be the bigger man and admit when I was wrong and stop blinding you. Sorry about that. I thought that the rooftops were going to be littered with body-flicking lunatics, but it ended up being five straight minutes of uneventful parkour. And now that we're in a new building, once again, Marco. Marco. Uh... Usually the building itself doesn't say Polo. Usually the building has doorknobs. Uh, okay, don't suppose we could just give this a quick push, could we? Come on, Six, any day now. <laughs> yeah, hinges don't matter. What really matters is running. I, I would like running. Could, could we maybe get back to the running? Okay. I told you there were gonna be building code violations. <laughs> Come on, go, go, Six, you gotta... 
not get smooshed. How was I supposed to do that any differently? I... Oh, I wasn't. Oh, the flashlight is boobar, and so are her legs. <laughs> Six, are you doing okay? Now, the real question is, do I want to help you? <laughs> I said that I was gonna Judas you before you Judas me, but that won't be right now. I mean, let's be honest, who's gonna boost me up? There we go. How are those legs feeling? Good? At least all right? Functional enough to lift a second child. That's the most important thing. As long as you can give me the boost up, then you're useful. Go on, stand up on him. Yeah. We're good. We're fine. Everything is fine. The flashlight is now in the past, but we don't need to... Worry about that, because we're gonna get you to test those legs out. <laughs> and up. Yeah, she's all right. Everything is fine. We have absolutely nothing to worry about. <laughs> this place looks incredibly intimidating. Get a child's room, a super conspicuous hiding spot. Yeah, I like it, okay. How many times have we seen these exact drawings? Like the evil eye, the dark swirling void, but also this strange slender man, I guess you would call him. You know, there's a picture of him there in the woods, but it can't be the hunter because the hunter has a bag over his head. The teacher has a whole lot more neck. The doctor has like 200 pounds of blubber. <laughs> so who the hell is that? And why are there so many children's rooms with no children except for you? Which is kind of upsetting now that I think about it. What's so different about you, Six? I don't have a good feeling about any of this. <laughs> We've got a light and another TV. All right, well, you wait here. I'm gonna go investigate. And by investigate, I mean give it a palm reading. Usually you would read the other person's palm, but we'll make an exception, flip things around and give you the old slappies. There we go. Okay, we gotta tune this just right. Hit the sweet spots, that televised G section. Hold on, oh, and, no, okay, we're getting there. And she feels it, hold on, and a little something like that. Mm, oh, close, 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 okay, maybe go with the, the two fingers and then try a little something around here. Mm. Oh, is it in yet? Come on, oh, no, just, just the tip. Come on, Jesus Christ. I think we're tuning in, okay. We are once again inside the television, <laughs> inside the broadcast, which actually kind of begs the question, could I just run away? What if I left? No, probably shouldn't do that. I would imagine it's a whole lot more difficult to enter a TV than it would be to run away from a TV. The only real question now is, how long until Six pulls us out? or not. We are getting awful close to this door. Okay then, I guess we finally get to open it. <laughs> the question is finally answered. What's behind door number one? It's the skinny guy who seems to be raving by himself. I like the mood lighting, but where'd you get a smoke machine in a time like this? Oh, I don't think he appreciates the jokes. Thank you, Six, that was perfect timing. Well, now we know what's behind the door. Um, Six, he may also know what's behind the screen. Is now the time to run? I don't think now is to employ the don't move strategy. Now is time to run. Now, now would be time to run. Okay, you're gonna start running. I guess I'll be right behind you. Oh, I do not like you one bit. I'm running as slow as humanly possible. Oh boy. Yeah, he's he's real slender. Where, where are you going? We don't get confused by the shoes. Just run. Come on, come on. Wait, does we get a hide? You, you're gonna hide. That's a crap hiding spot. I'm hiding over here. Screw that. We're, we're hiding over this way. Yeah, I feel a lot better about my spot than your spot. Your spot looks like it would make a whole lot of noise. Oh, no, no, don't come to my spot. Don't come to my spot now. I was joking, this spot sucks. You just get bone zoned. 
Oh. Oh, no, no. That's what all of the strange shadow children have been this entire time. It, it's kids getting abducted by whatever the hell that was. Okay, he is called the Thin Man. I wanted to officially look that up because I'm pretty sure calling him Slender Man over and over again would piss people off. <laughs> Do you think he's gone? He took six, which is... I mean, neither here nor there. Do we really want to rescue her? Is that what we're doing right now, Mono? Or do you just feel the need to continue following the transmission? I honestly don't know what his motivations are right now, but we're entering a TV or a butthole. Um, oh, ooh, okay, a lot of eyes for a butthole, but a lot of flesh for a TV. That was weird, to say the least. I guess we're doing whatever you want now, Mono, because Six is out of the picture. You're your own boss. <laughs> Maybe we'll go and hop through more televisions. Does that sound fun? <laughs> you seem to have that ability all of a sudden, which is particularly strange. That's what the beginning of the game was. We had exited the TV and landed in the forest. And now we're remembering that power because we opened the door and encountered the Thin Man? So, what are we? Because it doesn't make any sense for us to be like Six. Actually, it does make sense for us to be like Six because Six is weird. I was about to say we're a strong, independent man who doesn't need Six anymore and can reach his own doorknobs, but close enough. <laughs> but if I go through you again, then I should be good really weird. So there's something going on here. It's not just two individuals trying to traverse the world and figure out what happened to us. Like, Six is quite clearly somebody of importance, or something of importance, as is Mono. Ooh, I would normally say I don't like the look of this, but I don't have a lot of dead weight following me around anymore, so we should be good. Okay, great. Time for some more rooftop hardcore parkour. How riveting. So I'm over here, and I need to get over there, which kind of makes me hope that there's another TV around that's unattended. Okay. It's not on, though. Can I turn it on? I haven't actually been able to find a TV remote yet. This seems like the kind of thing that would come in handy. Well, I'll be damned. That seems a whole lot more useful than a regular old flashlight. So now I can control the TVs? Like, just considering that the bad guy is, is, is like a giant TV man who abducts children and gets turned on by them. Don't take that out of context. What I mean to say is being able to turn him off seems incredibly useful. I have no doubt that having a remote is going to come in handy. Was I supposed to go through that TV? I just assumed that I couldn't. Because I can't reach it, right? But this is dead end. There's a TV over here that we can turn on. Boop! <laughs> Never get tired of that. That's just, oh, that's gonna bring us back to that TV, but I need to pull you over to span the distance. All right, it's making sense. Now I'm thinking with TVs. You know what, I've already forgotten all about Six. Now I, I can do whatever I want. I could change the channel on the TV. I can crawl on the mail. I, I can zip line. Yeah, she would never let me zip line. Look at all the fun I'm having without her. Wee! I'm not having fun anymore. No, the fun is over. At least Six made a good distraction, right? She stopped him from getting me. She was always great at throwing in the way of danger. I, I don't think I want to screw with your TV, ma'am. You seem pretty invested in the young and the static, or whatever soap opera you're watching. I'm just going to go over here into your kitchen and find a way out of your house. There we go. You see, you don't always need to screw with the... Adults, God damn it! Oh, can I uh, turn you on? That doesn't help me though. I need to get through her TV. Oh, I see. Maybe now if I turn this one off, she'll run out into the kitchen and watch through the window. I'm gonna do that from like safe distance. We can 
pull a bit of a prank. Oop, there we go. It's just a prank, bro. Just a prank, bro. Okay. <laughs> the way they move will never stop creeping me out. Let's check on her. Just, just make sure she's... Yeah, she's okay. She's... Uh... Missing a face? That would be my cue to skidoo. I'll see you later, lady. Oh, okay. I was gonna say... I really don't want to break her television by accident and have her come bursting through that window, but we're good. We're great. She gets to continue enjoying her transmission, and I get to continue moving up towards the roof. <gasps> Maybe there's going to be, like, an antenna up here, and I could screw it up, get rid of the signal for this entire block, or, or maybe just this building, and that might help grow people's faces back. Probably not, right? Uh... Again, we'll turn you on, hide over here, turn you off, 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 there we go, okay, now you can just watch that one, or jump to your death, that works, wait, is that what was happening to those people, they were trying to see transmissions, for like their, their neighbor's TV, and just decided to walk off, all at the same time though, doesn't seem likely, all right, well, either way, we can now go through you and out through you. You see, oh, you, no, 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 climb, 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 climb. That's what I didn't want to happen with the last one. <laughs> sometimes they break, sometimes they don't. I guess it's just who manufactured them. I have no friggin' idea. <laughs> either way, I think this is going well. It's kind of hard to tell since we're, you know, down a man. Things are <laughs> certainly uneasy. That doesn't look particularly stable, or it is. Okay, well, I, I, I guess we'll just go back to having fun. Yeah, Wee! <laughs> Last time I did this ended up poorly. I can't imagine this time it will. No, we're good. If there's one thing that makes me miss Six, it's her ability to help me reach doorknobs. Like, being this small sucks. I wish I could jump. Okay, I know I was saying that my life sucks and that I wish I could jump, but that is not what I meant. Holy crap. Oh, I got so many goosebumps. That is crazy. That would be what we saw earlier. They weren't trying to see their neighbor's transmissions. They were just jumping for the transmission, like staring off into the distance. Oh, I don't like that one bit. Okay, let's just hope we go in here and come out in Neverland. Oz, I don't really care or just fall to our death. Maybe I do care. <laughs> I see. We need to come up here first and give this a push. There was no way of me being able to tell that was the case the first time around. <laughs> now, if we fall through, it'll be survivable? Somehow, Can we pop. Oh, we're just gonna we're just gonna pop out there into the window. Okay, perfect. Yeah, it's got a bit of an ejection speed to it. I like it. What is going on here? Get a switch. Okay, we'll pull all switch policy. Just gonna electrify the floor. No, I don't want that. Thank you. Weird. So, oh, I see. Yeah, I'm not gonna be able to hide from you, am I? I'm gonna have to give you the shocky toes. Okay, hold on, just a little bit of this. I'm not gonna get the top one, right? I'm, I'm just gonna leave you and you'll you'll burst through. Okay, okay, no, just, just a sec, hold up, hold up. I just, I just gotta get this. That was way too close. I've never been so frightened from a guy in New Balance shoes with a dad body. Okay, yeah, no bad touch for you, sir. <laughs> I'll be on my way. Ooh, do you have a TV in here by any chance? Maybe it was just off? Uh, I don't think I can get that door open. Yeah, there is a TV in here that's off. This looks weird. Let me turn that on. Is there something going on here or with this? We'll take the TV first, see where that leads us. If, if it's death, then so be it. Can we just, uh, no. He's not interested in this TV for some reason. All right, then I guess we'll just take the garbage chute. Screw it. 
<laughs> kind of figured going through televisions would be a whole lot more sanitary, but... Oh. Can we, uh... Oh, yep, there we go. Okay, bit of a block. We, we can unblock? In my mind, I was trying to come up with some kind of Von Solo garbage disposal joke, but, like, this is just gross. <laughs> this is Tetanus City. I want nothing to do with this. Hopefully, we do not need to do that jump again. There's a TV here, which I can turn on, and something that I can't reach. Okay, uh, would you like to be new six? We're gonna call you seven. Come along, seven. I could use your help. I'm not trying to take away from Six's character, but when you can get replaced by a package, then not a good thing. Is that all I get? Just a, a little tiny room to squeak through? Oh, I see. So if I can get on top of you, then I should be able to get the elevator moving. Then we can use this TV to get to the other TV. Right? Beat the elevator up now. If I can time this correctly, I should be able to ride it up to the next floor or get smooshed. Hopefully, neither. Neither, huh? Uh, am I missing something? I see. There might be another floor. If we can quickly get through the television, come on, and then get on top of this before it gets too far. Then it should, yeah, 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 right, right here. This is, this is good. We're alive. This is good. We haven't been to this floor yet. What do you think is waiting for us here? Terrifying people? Large, skinny men? Puppets? Oh, I was joking about puppets. Oh, never mind. It's just a doll. We're good. You're just in the way. It jumped, okay? It jumps, I jump. So this might be moving forward, or this might just be. Oh, this is moving forward. That might just be another secret, but no, we've got a, a very staticky bathroom. Try not to touch the electricity. Yep, electricity hurts. Who would have guessed? Even if we manage not to fry ourselves, I get the feeling whoever's clicking over there isn't going to want to let us touch their television. <laughs> so maybe we have to jump up properly. Okay, then something like that. You can come over here. Oh, oh, oh. Do we climb? I, I don't know if we should... Climb! She almost sucked us. Oh. <laughs> yeah, we fried her. And she fried the television. So that was kind of redundant. <laughs> right? I, 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 I could have just figured out... Oh, no. She wasn't going to let me get the stool. I was going to say, I could have just figured out a way to open the door. I just ruined that lady's day for no reason. Once again, six who? We had seven package and now eight stool. Everything is coming up. Mill house. That's a who? That's spooky. Think I can screw with their television? Just hit the old remote? No, okay, probably for the best. <laughs> I don't even know if they're watching on a TV. They might be watching it on like a, a drive-in projector in the alleyway or something like that. That is really freaky though. The imagery in this game is just so spooky. I love it. <laughs> so what do we have in here? Some kind of toy store? Yeah, toy stores are always uh, full of electricity. Wonderful, okay. Uh, I'm seeing a cart back here. Can I maybe get you down the ramp? That would make a whole lot of sense. Grab you, come along. No time for shopping. We gotta do whatever we're doing. Still not sure if it's saving six or just getting to the transmission, but still don't really care. <laughs> Screw six. You know what? I, I said it before, I'll say it again. She's only saved us half a dozen times. Shopping carts are dangerous when you're like a foot tall. How about we try pushing it instead of pulling it? The, that. Is that good? Did it go anywhere that we wanted it to? <gasps> there's a TV over there for us, but there's no way we're getting over that way. And I don't think I can get down and move this cart. Maybe we can turn off the power if I do something like that. Okay, good. Oh, yeah. Yeah, perfect. I didn't know. Okay, no. <laughs> no electricity down here. And there's a reason for that. I can't actually get up there. We got to go through this way into the workshop, I would assume. Looks like this is where the toys got made. The window there, I don't 
think I'm supposed to go through it, though. Doesn't look like an easy climb. It looks like I should go through this vent. And then, yeah, I thought I saw something like this. So, turn off the power. And then... Oh, wait, that turns off the TV, doesn't it? So... We need to reach the TV with the electricity on. And we can do that with the cart. Because, like I said, we can't move it with the power on. But we can move it with the power off. <laughs> so, we'll just put you over here somewhere. Uh... Not sure where... It's also kind of difficult to maneuver. Again, because I'm so damn small. We haven't really dealt with the thin man yet, right? So this is no chance that I'm going to come across some kind of toy salesman boss in here, am I? Usually it's only one at a time. We had the hunter, dealt with him, had the teacher, left her behind. The doctor dealt with him. So hopefully this... Works out. Okay, we are out of the toy store. Or above it. Great. Uh, can't see diddly squat. One time where I wish I kind of did have <laughs> my flashlight back. Just come on, six, work with me. I mean, I mean, the mono, God, I just, everything sucks. No, don't go back through the TV. Oh my God, everything is difficult. I'm so used to complaining to six that I never think to complain to my sell hi oh i see for a second there i thought they were forming an orderly line and waiting to watch the tv but i i think it's just that thin crappy fence that's holding them back i don't want to turn that tv off that seems like a colossal mistake how about we turn more tvs on turn turn all these tvs on oh, i can only turn that one on all right well that will cover my tracks or not uh, I can't go any further. So, if I turn this off, oh, maybe I can just, like, hide, say, over here-ish. Turn that off. You should really go check out the TV in the window, and, and don't screw with me. Don't, I, I don't even exist. Okay, that's what I'm talking about. <laughs> now, you guys are still cool back there, right? If I turn this on and cut in line, you, you're not you're not gonna crap yourselves. No, you, they're they're kind of gonna crap themselves. Okay, don't no don't like that. Do not like that. Oh, I didn't want to break that. Oh, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Okay, I'm sure there's plenty more TVs, guys. Come on, this is always reruns. Come on, please don't be like this. That door's closed. Gotta go up and over, up and over. Ow! Sound hurts. It's so weird that they don't have faces and have turned into some kind of echolocating clickers, but then they also have some kind of supersonic attack. Uh, turn those TVs, those TVs are already on. Okay, good, great, so that will not stop them. They do not care at all. I mean, it, it kind of makes sense because they, they were smashing the TVs the last time. Oh, I, I want through, I want through, I want in, I want in, bye. <laughs> don't care where it leads me. Last time I said that, it, it got me killed, so maybe I do kind of care. I care a little bit. Is this a friendly house? Marco! <laughs> Come on. Be good to me. Maybe? Possibly? I think we're in the clear? This is looking promising. Okay. Yeah. You know what? I think I'm gonna end things here. Oh. Hi, Six! Was this a bad time for me to end the episode? Because I'm still gonna do it. <laughs> you know what? I think that's gonna be it for this episode of Little Nightmares 2, guys. <laughs> what a bad coincidence. Don't worry about it. I'll make another episode in a couple of days. I'll come break you out of there. It'll be fun. You can wait, right? You guys can wait. Everyone can wait. But thanks so much for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed, and I'll see you next time.